In this equation, we have K2SO4 plus CaI2. That's potassium sulfate plus calcium iodide. So to balance the equation, let's count the atoms up on each side and we'll balance it. We have two potassium atoms and then this SO4 here, it's called the sulfate ion. We have a sulfate ion here and it stays together in the chemical reaction. We have one here as well. So when we have these double displacement reactions, we have these polyatomic ions, it's really helpful to count them as just one item if they appear on both sides. So let's see how that works. So we have one sulfate here, we have our one calcium and two iodine atoms. On the product side, we have one potassium. And again, we have one sulfate here. So we're just gonna write one, one calcium and one iodine atom. And because we did that, it's a lot clearer what we need to do to balance this equation. We can see we have two potassiums on the reactant side, one on the product, two iodines, and then one on the product. All we need to do is put a two as our coefficient in front of the potassium iodide. One times two, that'll give us two potassium atoms. One times two, that will give us two iodine atoms. And now the equation's balanced. So you can see the utility of counting polyatomic ions is just one thing if they appear on both sides when you have these double displacement reactions. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for K2SO4 plus CAI2. Thanks for watching.